Welcome, welcome uh, for our Facebook Live. We're here today with Joel Pullum, and I'm so super excited. I met this young man through Yolanda Anderson, and I participated in his conversations, and I was just so thrilled to see a young person working so hard to make sure that voter information was getting out to individuals and people were becoming informed about the great work that he is doing in our community. So I am so delighted to have Joel Pullum here. He worked with the Biden campaign and he is currently working with all, oh, listen here, South Carolina, uh, South Carolina voter protection. And so we're delighted to have him here with us and to share with us in this voter mobilization campaign. Welcome, Joel. Hey, um, this little thing, I'm um, Joel Pulliam. I'm from Columbia. Uh, Again, like she said, I've worked with the, uh, the South Carolina Water Protection Unit. And um, first of all, I wanna thank you for having me here. Uh, one of the things that uh, I was asked to speak upon was uh, why do I vote? And the reason I vote, and I think everybody else should vote is um, it is the one tangible way we have to change our destinies. Um, again, I, I was out there protesting and marching, and I think that is a, crucial, essential part to what we're trying to do to make change, but going to those ballot boxes and putting your vote in, whether it's funding for your communities, whether it's the school board, um, your sheriff, all the way up to the president, as we can see now with how terrible things are with COVID-19, um, all those things are important to vote in every election. So that is a little bit of why I vote. Thank you, Joel. That is awesome. Uh, our other question is, how was your, your um, passion for voting shaped by your family and or your community? In other words, you have this amazing heart for voting and civil engagement. How did your parent or your community play inside of that shaping of that, that passion? Um, I try not to take up too much time with this, but uh, it's like a two-parter here. Um, one is that growing up, my dad's a pastor. He always taught us, uh, you know, serving other people, speaking up when you see injustice, things like that. And my parents were always, you know, in tune to politics and they made sure that we were too. Um, I think also, uh, not trying to deviate too far away, but um, 2008, I was in high school when Barack Obama uh, ran for president. And that was an election that really got me and my whole family just enthused about politics and it was like, okay, I want to get involved. Someone who looks like me can make change. Like, let's go. But yeah, my, my, my entire life, my dad has always been about serving the community, serving other people. So that's kind of where I get it from. So. Oh, thank you for sharing your story. That was awesome. So the last question, I'm gonna give you full leeway to this last question, right, but one, <laughs> one no, of the no, things, <laughs> so one of the things is um, we are really polarized right now. We're in this them and us kind of situation, uh, the blue versus the red and all this other craziness that has brought us to this point where it looks like we have an uprising toward the civil war. But I, uh, and a lot of people feeling that they vote really doesn't matter and they really don't need to uh, exercise the vote because it don't matter anyway. They're going to do what they want to do, all that language that's out there. And I want you to tell us, uh, help us to understand, how do we motivate other people to come out and vote and exercise this civil obligation that they have to make a difference? I always say voting is a way of protest. It is a nonviolent way of protest. It's a way to make change. But I want you to share, why would people, how do we motivate people to vote? Um. Wow. Okay. That's a, that is a great question. Um, to that first point, when you said that a lot of people say my vote, uh, it doesn't count. Uh, just an example out there. Again, we can all remember for around 2000 state of Florida was 537 votes. Uh, what's the difference? Your vote literally can change. I think Michelle Obama always says that in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, the average difference was two votes per precinct. So that shows how close these things can be and that your vote could, could change world history, like literally. Um, the thing when it comes to motivating people to vote, uh, especially when I worked on the campaign, one thing I was taught was uh, listen to people first. So I always say the first thing you do is ask somebody, okay, what are your concerns? Because people will say, oh, I don't, I don't, politics is not my thing. And I would say, okay, do you care about where your child goes to school? 
you care about what job opportunities you have, your, your, uh, your pay, um, all those things are dictated on politicians and laws and things of that matter. So uh, I always say, first, just ask them, okay, what concerns you? And if someone says something, let's say, um, let me see, let's say student loans or something like that, just like a young person, I'd be like, then you say, okay, we have common ground there because I have student loans and I'm still paying them off. And like that, when you make that connection with people, it's not, you don't ever make people feel like they're just a statistic, like a person, you're just logging off, like, okay, got another voter, another voter. Give people your undivided attention, like listen completely with everything you have to listen to what their problems are. And then you can build, because you can't come into an argument and make the argument for voting if you don't know exactly what motivates them. And um, one thing that also helps is never be condescending to people of, uh, oh, okay, well, how, how come they don't know this person or know this person on the ballot or know this initiative? One thing I learned when I went on the campaign, uh, there were people who didn't know who Joe Biden was. And, you know, some people were like, what? But then I, some of the areas I went to, like, there are people who have to work two, three jobs. They don't have time to go watch CNN all day and watch MSNBC like we do. So it's kind of one of those things of just always be, be cautious when it comes to being like, okay, how come y'all don't know this? Just it's about getting people to vote, no matter what, you know, what the motivation is. And sometimes you got to set your pride aside of like, okay, this should be enough for you to go vote. The main goal is to get them up and voting. Um, and it's just talking to people and not when they say, oh, I'm not politically involved or whatever. Don't stop. I'm not saying badger them. But if it's like a family member or a friend and they're like, ah, that's not really my thing. Come back to them a week later and be like, hey, bro, sis, what about this right here? You know, just keep working because this worked when it comes to people in my family and my friends. And then it's it's funny uh, when you make these videos, you know, like I did, and you're kind of just like, well, I wonder if people are getting it. And then you family and friends are like, oh, man, I watched that video on it and it makes it all worth it. You know, those conversations, you're sowing seeds, you know, into people uh, to get them voting. So just keep working at it. So that's really the advice I can get to, to, to motivate people to go and vote. Oh, thank you so much, Joel. Your your energy is amazing. It is really amazing <laughs> and greatly appreciated. But uh, is there anything else you want to share with our audience? Um, this will be shared in our, on our YouTube channel. We're going to also share it on our Facebook page. And I'm going to figure out how to use Instagram so I can put it on the Instagram TV. Um, but, go. uh, we're going to do all the uh, social media as well as LinkedIn. But is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience? Um, I would say, uh, again, you know, not trying to get on the soapbox, but this election and every election is really important. This election is only um, as dire and important as it is because we didn't take every other election seriously. So this is really for all the marbles. And I just want people, especially people, my age group, people who are Black, I want them to really take advantage. Um, we don't get a lot of breaks in society, I already know, but this is one of those things to where we can really equalize the playing field for us by voting so again um thank you for having me and i want people to go out and vote <laughs> thank you again joel so uh, you all have heard from joel we appreciate him taking the time to come with us and share his thought on why i vote and so we're going to ask you again to go to the website midlandsmediation.org forward slash vote where we've compiled a lot of information to help people in the voting process always remember you can go to scvotes.org they provided a lot of details if you can't do anything else please check your ballot know who you're voting for it is an amazing tool and the last thing I've always said as I end each and every one of these uh, is to vote, vote, and vote. Thank you so much, Joel. Uh, look right. forward to having another conversation soon. Take care.